Hi, and welcome back to your autism game plan. I'm Joya Vanderlaan, a family nurse practitioner, a functional medicine specialist, and an autism mom. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the vagus nerve. It may not be something you've heard about before, but the vagus nerve can calm. <laughs> Doesn't that sound wonderful? Calm. The vagus nerve is the main component of the parasympathetic nervous system. So we, I've talked before about the sympathetic and parasympathetic and how they're kind of in balance, right? And the sympathetic is the fight or flight, excited, you know, kind of really focused on getting something done, but stressed. And the parasympathetic is that nice calm. So we want probably more calm for us, for our children, um, and less of that frantic sympathetic. Well, the vagus nerve really is in control of a lot of things. It runs from the brain and innervates or attaches to controls, sends messages to all different parts of our body, our lungs, our heart, our GI tract. So telling our GI tract whether to be calm or frantic, um, all sorts of other things, it messages and controls. Doesn't it sound wonderful for other parts of our child's body to be in a state of calm and regulation. Aside from their behavior, if other parts of their body are having appropriate input and messaging from the vagus nerve, we will see calmer, more regulated children. Vagal nerve stimulation is really useful for a number of different medical conditions, including even seizures. However, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about how it applies to our autistic children. And if your autistic child has seizures, maybe there's a double benefit here in terms of talking about the vagus nerve. As I mentioned, the vagus nerve connects the body and the brain, the brain and the body. There's this interconnection and communication back and forth that happens partially because of the vagus nerve. It touches, it controls all these different parts of our body and is a really important part of the parasympathetic calming nervous system. Now here's a few things that the vagus nerve can control and how it relates to autism. It can actually help autism symptoms, things like bowel and bladder problems, meltdowns, agitation or anxiety or that worked up feeling. Um, it can actually improve speech and facial expressions, uh, the ability to use speech and facial expressions. It can decrease aggressive behaviors, right? If they're calm and regulated, those aggressive behaviors are going to decrease. They can just be happier. Doesn't that sound great? Um, they can be more calm, relaxed, and alert. It can absolutely help sleep, and it can absolutely help digestion improve, help them digest their food better. A couple of quick signs that your child may have low vagal tone, in addition to the list that I just mentioned earlier of things that it can help, right? If your child is having trouble with those things, it may be partially or, or completely related to vagal tone issues or lack of vagal tone. But what you may see improve when you start to work on vagal tone or do exercises or stimulate the vagal tone is improved eye contact, improved facial expressions, improved ability to vocalize. Even if it's not words and speech yet, the ability to vocalize, and actually that vocalization helps to tone the vagal nerve as well. In my next video next week, I will be talking about different ways you can stimulate the vagal nerve at home without any tools or expense. Just twice a day for a few minutes can really help build the tone and efficacy of that vagal nerve. So that's what my next video will be on. Until then, be well and remember, be gentle with yourself. You're doing a great job.